Hey, what's up everybody? It's Kellen here from Start Your Systems and welcome back to MX Bikes where today we're going to be shredding a CR85 in the game and riding Super Coupe MX. I actually did this on a live stream with my buddies last night and uh, I was going to upload that video just kind of as a standalone, but I didn't feel like I was doing the 85 justice in that video and, and talking about how cool it is and how cool this mod is. Uh, so I wanted to do a separate video talking about this mod and showing off this 85 a little bit. Uh, but for a quick montage of that little stream that we did last night. Let's throw it to future Kellen to edit a montage together. <laughs> oh. You guys are cutting up there? I was sick, wow. dude. I, I looked over at Zach whipping in my face. <laughs> Sunshine day. Been on that late race to a match charge. Oh, God, we're sorry. <laughs> I feel like I'm really starting to get this bike down, though, anyway. Oh, God. All these All right, thanks, Future Kellen. Let's go ahead and ride this CR85. I think this is a 2006 CR85 around Super Coupe MX by Hurin. Uh, Hurin. We've known for many, many years to make some really, really cool tracks in MXers ATV Reflex, and has jumped over now to bikes and is making. Honestly, even cooler tracks. It feels like in bikes, and Super Coupe MX is a track. Uh, based in maybe Michigan, I believe is how you say the town name. It's M A B E E. Uh, so for you Michiganders, you get to see a, a cool little replica track here. But for everybody else, you just get to see really just a cool track uh, as we shred a CR85 around it. Uh, Hurin in, in this track, the way that he always tends to build his tracks is like kind of a little bit hyper realistic. So there's a lot of ruts, a lot of braking bumps. Uh, pretty difficult track I would say for mostly beginners I would say like once you've you've kind of like got a little bit of a feel with MX bikes down this track isn't too difficult to get the hang of because I wouldn't even say I'm all that good at the game and, and I've figured it out a little bit but um, you can see there's ruts everywhere there's braking bumps kind of everywhere it's a little bit hard to get a grasp of it if you're not comfortable with it but beyond that the track is awesome like it's a great replica version of this track uh, it, it's perfect sizing for this 85, which is why I wanted to do like an 85 on this track specifically, but obviously we did it for the stream last night. So it was a lot of fun doing that as well. And um, yeah, Hearn's tracks are incredible. He's made a couple tracks so far. He's got some more coming. Uh, definitely follow his progress along. I think he's got an Instagram page. I might link it in the description below, or I'll link it to uh, some of his other projects. Cause I know he uploads to a YouTube channel where he been working on a couple things of late so shout out Hurin and this awesome track but also this CR85 and all the 85 mod that comes with it I'll uh, link that in the description below as well so you guys can try it out for yourself and try out these 85s um, I believe the download pack comes with a readme text in there about how to install the mods if you're confused about it but if you're still confused about it if you're trying to download it and figure it out uh, go to our Start Your Systems Discord. I will also link that in the description below and feel free to uh, message us in the general chat there and talk to us about um, how to get these mods in game. And one of our uh, helpful team members will help you out or maybe myself uh, will also be there to help you out and try to get these mods in game for you. But enough about that. Let's talk about ripping this bike and how fun this bike feels. I am not the best at MX bikes. Seriously, straight up, I don't feel very comfortable uh, since the new beta came out with beta 17, like it took away a lot of the skill set that I had, even though not much changed. I feel like it just threw me for a loop, uh, with how much stuff changed initially. And then they reverted it back. And then I was kind of already going down the new path and then they reverted and now I'm kind of lost again a little bit, but these 85s kind of reinvigorated me a little bit. I feel a little bit more comfortable riding these bikes. I think it's probably because they're slower. Obviously they're, you know, kind of like your super minis IRL. So they're uh, not as fast. They're a little bit harder to keep momentum up on, but beyond that, they're just slower. So it, everything comes at you a little bit slower. You don't have to think too hard about, you know, railing a corner to triple into a rhythm section or, or keeping up momentum to go off of a jump or something like that. You mess something up, you case it, it is what it is. It's an 85. Uh, it's not meant to clear everything anyway. So um, these bikes have been a freaking ton of fun to play in the last couple of days. I've had a lot of enjoyment picking up the game again, and I kind of almost wanted to make this video not necessarily to say these 85s are amazing and you should download them and play them, but if you are a beginner to the game and you're looking for something that's not a 450 or a 250F or even a 125 that's maybe a little bit easier to get used to, I would say these 85s are right up your alley. 
it's a it's a great tool to learn on. I feel like to learn skill sets of, of corner entry and, and carrying momentum and uh, jumping and other things like that in the game, which. You know, all things are not necessarily that you would say are, are all that difficult, but if you're struggling with anything whatsoever, this bike feels like it has a lot of help with kind of ironing those details out and you can absolutely rip these bikes really hard and not feel like you're gonna like override the track too much. Uh, you can definitely still blow off the track and, and blow corners and stuff like that, but um, not near as bad as it is when you're riding a 450 or a 250. Like you run up on corners way too fast. You grab the brakes. You're over the bars before you know it. It's it's a little bit hard to wrangle those things together if you're not comfortable pushing the limit. So these things you can ring them out. You can ride them hard, and still feel like you're kind of riding within your limits. So to me, it's been a ton of fun to ride these and kind of find a little bit more fun with the game I guess uh, and not feel like I'm, I'm try harding and trying to get good lap times or anything like that I'm just out riding and, and enjoying the scenery kind of <laughs> um, so yeah in this pack comes a CR 85 uh, a YZ 85 a Husky KTM 85 I, they're all 85s except the Honda CRF 150 is also in this pack I believe and there's sound mods and stuff like that that come with it so you can make the bike sound extra crisp but uh, obviously the SYS team, we are running Hondas of late. And then I think Saru, our guy over there that does some cool designs for us actually made this CR85 skin. So I would have to reach out to him to see if he'd be willing to release this paint or not. But I do know that these paints are pretty sick and this bike is a lot of fun to ride. And Super Coop MX kind of fits these bikes almost perfectly. I've ridden Super Coop MX several times and thought about making videos on it and then uh, never really felt comfortable riding the ruts or anything like that. But these 85s just hook into the ruts very nicely. It feels like it's the right size and right speed for this track, and it's a, it's a great combo. There's a lot of great combos, though, with this bike, though. Last night we rode this track. We rode uh, Oak Hill MX. We rode Mantova, and we rode one other track that I'm forgetting right now. I'm trying to think. Oh, uh, Oss, the MXGP of the Netherlands. And all of them... Except maybe Oss, I would say this bike fits very well. Oss is really kind of deep, hard sand track. And uh, yeah, this bike, you definitely have to carry a lot of momentum to feel comfortable on that track. But this track is great for it. The traction is fantastic on it. Um, these bikes rip in and out of these ruts with relative ease. And uh, overall, just a ton of fun. So I'm gonna put my head down here for a minute to end up this video. Try to just absolutely ring this bike out for the next like minute, minute and a half. Send you guys on your way today, and be sure to download the link in the mods in the description below, and uh, try this out for yourself. Let's shred some laps. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm.